every day you have so many decisions to make. What do I need to accomplish at work? What chores have to be done at home today? What's for dinner? What one thing can I do today to get one step closer to conquering the world? Or is that just me? But the most difficult decision of them all, the one we struggle with the most, is what handbag do I wear today? Well, never fear, for I am here with three strategies today to help you decide what handbag to wear. Stay tuned. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community post on your YouTube homepage where I post deals, discount codes, sales, and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. Hand in hand with selecting a bag for the day is selecting your outfit and what other accessories like jewelry or like shoes you'll wear with it. And due to this, one of the age-old questions in the handbag community is, do I pick my outfit first? or do I pick my bag first? Well, today we'll go through both scenarios, but first is the easiest choice of all of them when deciding on a bag for the day, and that is when you have a brand new bag. Because when you have just received a brand new bag, that's the one you wanna wear, that's the one you are most excited about, and that is by far the easiest situation. So grab that bag, pair an outfit and accessories with it and be on your way. Now for the rest of us, whether you're first choosing your outfit or your bag, there are some considerations to take into account beforehand. One, what is the weather today? Specifically, is it going to rain or snow, depending on where you are? If either of those nasty situations, that's my favorite weather actually, is going to occur, today, then that eliminates some of your handbag collection for you. Generally, it's going to eliminate pieces that have vachetta, pieces that are not weather resistant, such as canvas that's not coated, shearling, and other textiles that could get damaged or dirty in wet weather. The second consideration is what is the occasion today for which you are choosing a bag? This will help you narrow it down by size and by style, and potentially by color and by brand, depending on your personal preferences. So if you're going to work, you might need a bigger bag, like say if you're taking a laptop, versus if you're going to dinner, where you wouldn't want a giant bag that you have to find a place for. If you're going into an office setting and it's more conservative dress, you may want to go with neutral colors rather than bright, bold colors. If you're going to a situation where you're uncomfortable wearing a bag that is obviously an expensive luxury brand, then you may want to leave Monogram Louis at home and go with something more quiet luxury or contemporary. And the third consideration is, does the bag you're carrying have some kind of special significance for that day? For example, it could be a bag that was gifted to you by the person that you're going to see. Or maybe it's a holiday, like upcoming St. Patrick's Day, and you'd want to wear a green bag. Or maybe you're going to someone's birthday party and their favorite color is purple, so you want to wear a purple bag. Now, if you've been able to use any of those three considerations to narrow down your bags, your life just got a lot easier. Now let's move to the picking the outfit and then the bag scenario. This is strategy number two. Number one, if you missed it, was if you have a brand new bag. When you're picking the outfit first, this will often fall into a few different situations. One, you may be somebody who's more interested in clothing than handbags. Is that even possible? Two, it might be a particular occasion that you're going to and you have to dress a certain way, so you have to pick the outfit first. Or three, there's something in your wardrobe that you are excited to wear, so you want to wear that and then build the accessories around it. In that case, this is obvious, you'd want to pick the outfit first and then pick your accessories. Is the handbag your top priority or is it the shoes that match or is it the jewelry? Sometimes I pick my jewelry before I even pick the outfit or the bag. So it depends on what your priorities are. Sometimes I have trouble because I'm trying to pick several different accessories. Now I'm not much of a shoe person so I don't have a big issue picking which shoes to wear, but pairing jewelry with a bag 
with maybe a scarf too, then things can get a little complicated. So here's my number one tip for helping yourself out in this situation. This is something I discovered a few years ago on YouTube, building a capsule wardrobe. And really we're moving into number three here because we're talking about accessories being the priority. So just so you know, we're on number three now where you're picking the bag first. Okay, with a capsule wardrobe, what you wanna do, this is a situation where your accessories are generally more important to you than your clothing. Clothing can still be important, but it's your accessories that you want to shine. Your accessories are what gets you out of bed in the morning. So with a capsule wardrobe, at least the way I've done it, there are different theories, is you build a small wardrobe of clothing that you can mix and match easily. Like you could grab any of your bottoms and any of your tops and they'll work together. Something that really helps with this is sticking with one color scheme for your entire wardrobe and generally sticking with solid colors solid color pants, solid color tops. Most of my tops are solid colors, although I do have some that have some texture like this for a little more interest. And I have some that are patterned tops, but they're harder to style. When you do a capsule wardrobe with a select number of colors in solids or subtle texture like this, what that does is create a base layer for you to then build your accessories around that. And the way I see it, if you are trying to not have a huge handbag collection and not have a huge wardrobe, or if you would like to have, this is what I have, a big handbag collection but a small wardrobe and you want your bags to be able to go with your whole wardrobe for the most part, have that wardrobe be this sort of blank canvas. And that way just about any outfit you pick, you can pair with any bag. Or in this case, since we're on number three, you pick a bag and then you can just grab a top and a bottom from your wardrobe and you're done. Well, except for the shoes and the jewelry and the scarves and you see where I'm going with this. When you're an accessories person and you have all those things you want to work together, it'll make it easier on yourself if you can start with that canvas. And now that that is established, how do we then pick the bag? If the bag is the first thing we're picking, wardrobe we don't really have to worry about. Let's say you have a large collection like I do, how do you pick the bag? I tend to go with one of two options here. Well first, before those two options, I take into consideration the considerations from earlier, the weather, the occasion, and the special meaning. That helps me narrow down which bags I now have to choose from. So if I'm looking now for a certain color or size bag, or in my bags I can have, like this one, I have solid color clothing so that I can get fun bags and be able to pair those with whatever's in the wardrobe. Now that I've narrowed it down, how do I pick among that little group? So here's where we get back to those two things. One, is there something that sticks out to me that I'm excited to wear? Sometimes there is, in which case that's the one I go with. Sometimes there isn't, in which case I go to number two. And that is, is there a bag in this group that I haven't worn at all or haven't worn in a long time. And that is what I tend to go with in that situation. For example, yesterday we were going to wineries because there was one that we are a member of and we went to pick up our wine, but we were also doing a tasting. And then we went to another winery to do another tasting for fun. And it was raining and it was cold. So I wanted a bag that was weatherproof, so I was able to narrow it down to that. I also didn't want a giant bag, like a tote. I wanted a small to medium bag. And I knew that I wouldn't have to wear it a long time because we'd be sitting at tables, we'd be in the car, and then we'd be sitting at tables, or wouldn't it be a lot of walking around carrying a bag. It didn't have to be a lightweight bag, it didn't have to be a crossbody bag. So I used that final strategy where I picked a bag I hadn't worn in a long time, and that was the Louis Vuitton Trevi in the PM size. I always carry this charm on it from Louis Vuitton too. There it is. Damier Ben is weatherproof. It's beautiful. I wanted to carry a luxury bag. I found that I haven't been carrying my luxury bags as much up here in Oregon lately. Actually, I've done that before we were in Oregon. And I think what it is, is that I'm so drawn to the luxury bags that I sometimes avoid wearing them because I want to wear contemporary bags because I have contemporary bags, and if I only wear the luxury bags, the contemporary ones get ignored. And so I wear the contemporary bags so that that doesn't happen, but what really happens is the luxury bags end up getting ignored. Do you ever have that problem? Or am I just a little nuts? But anyway, 
I wanted to go ahead and wear a luxury bag and this is the one that I chose yesterday. So that's how I came to that decision. Well, I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any more tips on how you pick your bag for the day. Anything I didn't cover. Was there anything in this video that I did cover that you hadn't thought about? That would be helpful to know too. Let me know in the comment section below. And even if you don't have any tips, tell me what bag you carried today. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hope to see you back here next time and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.